Harvard University Qualifying Examination Department of Mathematics Spring 2018 Day 1. One of, and also we can say the best university in the world and some rankings. So let's see the problem is what we want to solve. One problem of qualifying examination that's related to math. So let's see the problem is what the problem is the following. Third problem, day one. How many roots of the polynomial p of z equals z to the 4 minus 6z plus 3 occur where norm of z is less than 2? And now let's consider this problem. P of z equals this. If we differentiate, we would reach, we want to see that in which point we have something like this differentiate is 0 and also this so it equals 4 times z cubed minus 6 equals 0 so 4 z cubed 4 times z cubed equals 6 so z cubed equals 6 over 4 equals 3 over 2 so z equals third root of 3 half and now we know that in exactly one point this equals 0 now we want to focus on the diagram approximately it's what so we say let's find some numbers p of 0 is 3 p of 1 half is positive 1 over 16 and p of 1 is if you replace z with 1 you would reach 1 minus 6 plus 3 it would be 4 minus 6 minus 2 so in 1 we have minus 2 and also this is the point uh, three, uh, cube root of uh, 3 half and in this case here and now here we have something like this and then we it is ascending until 3 half is what p of 3 half is if you replace 3 half z with 3 half you would reach minus 15 over 16 so it is negative and if you replace z with 2 it would be 16 minus 12 4 plus 3 7 so it would be positive and we know that the only two real numbers are for example we call this one alpha 1 alpha 2 we have only two real roots so and also in complex numbers we know that we have four roots that's a famous theorem let's use that so we say okay alpha 1 and alpha 2 are real numbers and the other two numbers are not real numbers are only complex numbers minus real numbers so uh, we say we can write it in this like this z minus alpha 1 times z minus alpha 2 times z minus alpha 3 times z minus alpha 4 if we consider the constant term in each of these two things here it is 3 and here it would be minus alpha 1 times minus alpha 2 minus alpha 3 minus alpha 4 and we have 4 minus 1 so it would be alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 we call this equation number 1 equation number 1 and we know that alpha 1 alpha 2 are real numbers alpha 3 are is not real numbers so we can write it in this form a plus b i and alpha 4 c equals alpha 4 equals c plus d i and we know i equals square root of minus 1 and now we can say by this equation alpha 3 times alpha 4 equals 3 over alpha 1 alpha 2 we know alpha 1 and alpha 2 are real numbers and are not 0 alpha 1 and alpha 2 are these two roots real roots so all if we replace alpha 3 and alpha 4 with this term so we would reach a plus b i times c plus d i equals 3 over alpha 1 alpha 2 and since alpha 1 alpha 2 are real numbers so it is a real number so if you multiply these two things we would reach a c minus b d plus a d for solving this problem you need to know some basic definition of complex numbers if you don't know for understand this solution you need at first to know and search on google what are complex numbers what are the roots of a polynomial 
why a polynomial has n roots in complex numbers and then after that you can understand this solution so if you multiply these two things you would reach ac minus bd plus ad plus bc all times i and it's a real number so the coefficient of i is zero so ad plus bc equals zero we call this one this equation star now again we write p of z and like this form and this form and now here we want to consider the coefficient of z cube now let's see what we have here the coefficient is zero of z to the power of three equals and here z three is minus if you consider this z this z this z minus alpha one minus alpha two minus alpha three minus alpha four equals zero so alpha one plus alpha two plus alpha three plus alpha four equals zero we know alpha three is a plus bi alpha four is c plus di if you replace alpha three and alpha four with these terms we would reach alpha one plus alpha two plus a plus c plus b plus d times i equals zero so b plus d equals zero and then we can conclude b equals minus d and by star we know that ad plus bc equals zero so if we replace d with minus b then we would have a times minus b plus bc equals zero and b is not zero since we know that alpha 3 is not a real number we said because all the only real roots are alpha 1 and alpha 2 so alpha 3 is not a real number so b is not 0 and we can divide both sides by b because b is not equal to 0 so then we reach that minus a plus c equals 0 so we can conclude that c equals a now let's see what we have c equals a d equals minus b so we can write alpha 4 again c equals a here we said then and d equals minus b so we can say c equals a d equals minus b so alpha 3 equals a plus b i alpha 4 equals a minus b i and now the problem says find all roots that their norm is less than 2 so let's consider the norm of alpha 3 and alpha 4 and then we would see that their norm equals square root of a squared plus b squared and if we want to check that is it less than 2 or not it is equivalent that a plus 2 plus a squared plus b squared less than 4 now let's consider the first equation that we've reached is a alpha 1 uh, times alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 equals 3 by equation number 1 here we write it again we've written it again and now we know that alpha 1 alpha 2 we replace alpha 3 and alpha 4 with a minus a it's better to write a plus b i and here a minus b i and then we would see that a squared if you multiply these two things we would have a squared plus b squared equals 3 over alpha 1 alpha 2 and we want to check that is it less than 4 or not it, if it is less than 4 then alpha 3 alpha 4 are good roots and we must count them so let's see if it is less than 4 it is equivalent that 3 over 4 is less than we know that alpha 1 alpha 2 both of them are positive because alpha 1 and alpha 2 are these roots so alpha 1 and also we know that is greater than 1 half alpha 2 is greater than 3 half and here we would see that it is equivalent that alpha 1 times alpha 2 is greater than 3 to the 4 we know that alpha 1 is greater than 1 half and alpha 2 is greater than 3 to the 2 and if you multiply both of them it is greater than 3 uh, 3 over 4 and now we would see that a squared now plus b squared is less than 4 because this is true and now alpha 3 alpha 4 are good numbers and also because their norm is less than 2 alpha 1 and alpha 2 are also the real numbers and they are less than 2 between 2 and 0 so we need to count all these four roots so the answer is 
how many for this problem how many roots of this polynomial occur where this is less than 2 the answer is for all roots